guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I did a video, but uh, life gets in the way sometimes. I've got a lot in the works, so hopefully we will get a few out here shortly. Today, I apologize. I know I'm probably pretty echoey, but if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know back in May, the ceiling in my bedroom collapsed, and I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Um, and I'll show you around here real quick. Um, the new ceiling is in. Obviously, we got to do some painting. Um, but we took the opportunity to not only do the ceiling in the bedroom and get the bedroom cleaned up, we also took the opportunity to redo our bathroom. So our bathroom is in the works being done as well. And I know you probably can't see it very great, but redid the shower, which actually wasn't a shower. It was a closet before. Now it's a shower. That door went into the hallway and is now going to be a linen closet. So that's kind of a quick update. I am really hoping we are about two weeks away from moving back into this room because we have made a bedroom out of the office studio since May and not only do I want my bedroom back, I really would like to have my studio back. Now I want to give a quick shout out to everybody who has subscribed to my channel in recent months. I greatly appreciate that. We are getting really, really close to the 500 mark which means we're halfway to the thousand mark, which is kind of the first real big milestone. Get to that thousand subscriber mark and really cool that we're about halfway there. I also thank you guys for your comments. Love hearing the comments, having conversations with people and hearing your thoughts about things. Fantastic, I love it. Keep it up. Subscribe and leave me a comment right now. Now when I started this channel, in my mind I thought one of the things I wanna do is tutorials. What I have found over the last couple years is that tutorials are not very popular. They, they get the least amount of views, but there's still something inside of me that wants to do a few tutorials here and there. So I'm gonna do it. I don't want this channel to just be about things that gets likes and subscribers and views. I wanna do what's in my heart to do, and every once in a while, that's a tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Short, simple, I'm gonna explain it hopefully make sense of it, but I think it's a big deal when it comes to doing portraiture, if that's the kind of work you do, because it's a very simple thing to understand and it makes a big difference. Okay, so I just realized I did not plug in my microphone for the first couple of clips there, so... Ah. So hopefully the audio just got better. So here's my little tutorial. I apologize, but I've got a styrofoam head here. For the sake of this tutorial. But when it comes to photographing people, I want you to, to notice, when you turn somebody's head like this, you've got two sides of their face. The side that you see the most of is the broad side of somebody's face. The side that you see the least amount is what's known as the short side of their face. And why that's important comes down to lighting. If I take my handy little light right here and I light this person from the short side, you're gonna see more shadows on this side. If I light them from the broad side, the shadows fall on the back side of their face or the shadows fall on the short side. Where that is important, when I light somebody from the short side, the shadows are on the broad side and I create more dimension. The face also looks thinner, which if you're photographing a female is always important, obviously. They want to look thinner. So lighting something from the short side will give you more dimension, will give you more shape, and give you more a thinner face. See how much wider the face looks when I light it from this side? Okay, so I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I'll show you on me too. I've got this big window in front of me. So if I turn my head like this, this is the short side of my face. This is the broad side of my face. When the light comes from this side, the shadows are over here. It's going to create more dimension. It's going to make my face look a little thinner. And it's just usually more appealing. The, you know, creating dimension with your lighting is a big deal. And like I said, with women, making their face look thinner is always important. So even if you're a natural light photographer and you're just using natural light, a big window, or light bouncing off a building, keeping in mind which side of their face the light is coming from 
can make a world of difference with your photos. I'll show a bunch of examples as I close out this video of professional shoots that I've done lighting from the short side, creating dimension in my subjects. But I wanna say one last thing before I go, because I know this is quick and simple. If you notice, you might be thinking, if I put the shadows on this broad side of the face, it looks too dark and shadowy. Don't confuse light direction and which side of the face the light is coming from with the ratio of the highlight side and the shadow side. If I simply take a white card, the light direction hasn't changed, the side of my face that it's coming from hasn't changed, but if I put a, re a reflector up like this, I reflect light back into the shadow side and I change that ratio from one side to the other. So I can pull this back, pull it out all together, bring it in tight, and you see how I'm changing the ratio, but I'm not changing the light direction nor am I changing the side of the face it's coming from. I hope that helps a little bit. Lighting somebody from the short side of their face is not necessarily something you have to do. It's not a hard and fast rule. It's just something to keep in mind. Creates some dimension. Makes faces look a little bit thinner. Hope that helps. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope it helped a little bit. I know it was short and sweet. If there's something I missed that you would have liked to know a little bit more about, let me know. I'll add that to the next video. Leave me a comment as always. Like I said, I love those. And it's time to get out of here. AC isn't kicking on up here. It's a little warm. So I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.